Привет, everyone! Today we're headed to Teramok, which is Russia's biggest fast food chain. Yay! Come and join us! Teramok is a popular fast food chain here in Russia and was founded in 1998 as a street kiosk in Moscow by Mikhail Goncharov. They have roughly 300 locations throughout Russia's main regions, but focus primarily in St. Petersburg and Moscow. The fast food chain specializes in traditional Russian dishes, mainly revolving around blini, which are crepe-style pancakes. They also offer traditionally Russian pelmeni, borscht, grechka, and the drinks kvass and morse. Gancharov's mother was the inspiration for the menu, which was adapted from her recipes. Teremok is widely considered the McDonald's of Russia, or para sa ating mga Pilipino, ang Jollibee ng Russia. It's reported that the chain was developed for that purpose, to provide a healthier, more natural, and more traditionally Russian answer to the U.S.-based McDonald's, which has also been a huge success here. Teremok's website assures its patrons that what they serve is not fast food, so when we use the term fast food, Let's agree that we mean food that is prepared quickly upon ordering. So for today, we decided to order two pancakes. For the first pancake, we have the Cesar, which inside is going to be chicken and some lettuce and some sauce. And then the other one is one that we've not tried before. It's, the, it's called Blin Terem. I think we got two soups, which soups are very common in Russia. The first one is borscht. We decided to go with the the, the most common uh, Russian soup. It has meat inside, along with beets and sour cream. And then the other type of soup is a cheese cream soup, uh, one that I've not tried yet. But it, it looked good and it smells good as well. So looking forward to trying that. And then to drink, we have morse which is a traditional Russian drink. Uh, in this case, we got it made out of um, black currant and an apple. So the pancake is not a sweet pancake. It's it's a yeah, it's a little. I guess you could call it savory. Um, but it, the, the taste goes well with the chicken and the lettuce and the sauce that's involved, the Caesar sauce, I guess. But it, yeah, it blends very well. And the, the, the dominant taste is the mayonnaise with the other sauce. But it's not an excessive amount of mayonnaise. So it goes really well with everything. So really, the, the flavors complement each other. I remember the first time we tried this one, it really was the best one among all the blinis that we have ordered before. My past favorite was the ham and cheese. It's like more traditional common blini. And when they had this and we tried it, like, hmm, it's really good. So, go. Yeah. There's chunks of chicken. You could also taste the mayonnaise and the um, lettuce. Crunchy, it's fresh. And the chicken is really tasty. So it's a very, very good pancake. It's a very good Russian bean. It's uh, you can actually finish this whole blini and you won't get tired of it. Look at the mayo. It's this the mayo, and then there's another dressing. It feels it's a Caesar type of dressing, as the blini is named after Caesar. So it's like a chicken Caesar salad wrapped in a pancake. Yeah, that's a really good way of describing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this thing with all these pancakes is that I never thought that they it would go well with any of these fillings that they have, but it's yeah. actually quite good. Yeah. Growing 
up in the Philippines, what we do with pancake is just we'll just put butter or margarine on the pancake or maple syrup and that's it. And now coming to Russia, I didn't know that you could put a lot of stuff inside the pancake and that's really good. It's a, a good way to enjoy pancake in a different way that I'm used to. So kudos Russia for creating burini. <laughs> We're going to move forward to the Blain Terem. This is one that neither Marianne nor I have had before. So this is a little risky, but we're, we're a couple of risk takers. So let's cut this thing open uh, and see what inside should be beef and lettuce and cheese. And this smells much more like a hamburger as well. <laughs> It's like a hamburger instead of a bun. It's wrapped in pancake. Yeah. It's got a taste that just immediately pops. So as soon as you put it in your mouth, it kind of ignites your taste buds into that sauce. Yeah, it feels kind of like a kind of a looser hamburger, uh, but then yeah, the sauce really makes it kind of cheesy. Has kind of a cheesy flavor to the sauce. Oh, I will say it's it's tasty. I'll put it that way. But I still like the chicken scissor or scissor. Uh, better. The, the chicken Caesar, yeah, like Marianne said, it's one that you eat and you don't, you, know, you feel satisfied, but you can feel like you could have another one. Whereas this one, it's like, it's the kind of taste that it's, it's really good for, for a bit, but you probably won't want to have another one. In the future, yes, but not like immediately following. You, you'll probably once you finish eating this one, you'll probably regret it. Even though it tastes good, you'll probably regret it. So I feel like it's like a burger. Instead of wrapping it up in a bun, you wrap it in pancake. I'm gonna take a big bite here. You can see the the lettuce, the onion, the beef, and the cheesy, very cheesy dressing. Here it goes. <laughs> mm. Mm. It does taste like a burger. It has some the cheese, the dressing is cheesy, but at the same time there's some like a pickle pickle sour thing incorporated in the dressing. So it really feels like you're eating a burger wrapped in a pancake instead of a bun. Mm -hmm. You know that feeling after you eat a whole a whole shawarma? You feel so stuffed and heavy. Yeah, I get the feeling that you'll also feel the same way after eating this. It really tastes good and creamy and cheesy but I bet there's a lot of calories here so the time has come to try the borscht I'm a man that doesn't like beets however there's one thing that I do like that, that has beets in it and that's borscht since I've come to Russia I've tried borscht and I realized this actually is reasonable. Uh, it's not my favorite soup by any means, but I get the impression that Teramok will probably do a pretty good job with their borscht, uh, so it's not super beet flavored, but it'll still taste pretty good. Get the sour cream broken up here. And it turns into kind of a an odd pink flavor, or uh, color I should say. And then yeah, you can see inside you have the meats, and beets. Mm. 
So I can I can already smell it. And yeah, it, it smells good. So here we go. So my prediction was correct. This actually might be the first time I've had borscht here <laughs> in Terramok. But yeah, it, it definitely feels like a like a kind of fast food version of borscht, but it's still very good. And it's, it's something that even people that don't like beets like myself would enjoy. You might have to close your eyes though and tell yourself it's not beets, but the, the beet flavor is not super strong. Uh, the meat flavor actually is what drives this, you know, the, the meat and the sour cream flavor. It has a, again, kind of this interesting magenta color going on. So you got all kinds of colors in this, in this particular suit. You know, orange and pink, magenta, white, green, and brown. That's really good. In fact, I'm, now I'm not a borscht connoisseur, but the borscht that I've had, this would definitely rank up there as among the best, if not the best. So it, it, it suits my taste very well. A Indiana country boy. So while I'm at it, we've got the, the morse. So this is borscht, this is morse. Morse is a very traditional Russian uh, fruit drink. And this particular drink that we got includes uh, black currant, apple. Usually Morse is kind of bitter, and so kind of sour. And it, it often seems like that, but this, Morse, this particular Morse is a little bit more sweet. So it has a nice nice sweet taste to the bitterness of the berries. Yeah, it's rather refreshing with with the savory meal that we have here. I love beets. I um, eat it cleanly after boiling it or it goes pretty well with pizza root salad with um, arugula, lettuce, and some vinaigrette. Um, but trying it in a soup is a different world for me. I never had it. I never had borscht until I came to Russia. So, here it goes. Mm. You can definitely taste the sour cream that you mix onto it, which adds more creaminess to the soup. Then you can munch on the meat and the slices, thin slices of beetroot, which is really good. It, it's a, it feels a really healthy kind of soup. It's the beef is meat. I, I mean the meat is beef. <laughs> and then there's some herbs. No, oh, it's a really good borscht. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, the soup base is not chicken, but it's more of the beef. Beef soup broth. Mm. This will go well on a very cold weather. Yum yum. So if ever you come to Russia, you definitely have to try the borscht at least once. Alright, so now we'll try the cheese cream soup. And with this soup, it comes some. These are like. Uh, croutons in a sense, but one thing, another thing I'll say about Terramoff that I like, they have a really nice logo, so you can check and see the, hey, that's a very clever logo, it encapsulizes Russian culture, and, uh, and, it's, and it's very symmetric, or symmetric, so it has real nice symmetry going on, okay, so anyways, so we have the, the cream, or cheese cream soup, and inside, we're supposed to put Okay, my recommendation would be that you just put it in a few at a time and then just 
you know, mixed around and eat it immediately. Otherwise, they get soggy. So, kind of like cereal. So, I'll just, I'll just put a few in there. And then I'll use the same spoon that I used for the borscht. Just gonna mix it in there. But yeah, it's real, real creamy. Yeah. yeah, the little bread pieces make it give it that little crunch in a soup, which is kind of sounds kind of weird, but hey, it's what I like. But yeah, the soup itself very creamy, just like it's very cheesy. It's very creamy, just like the name says. So you're really getting exactly what you're asking for in the name. Before I try the cream cheesy soup, I would put these very thinly sliced croutons, which I find very unique because usually croutons are square type, right? So or cube type. So let's put it in. Ooh. Okay, the consist consistency, it's a little bit fluidy, not too creamy, but let's see how's the taste. <laughs> it tastes like cheese. <laughs> you know when you're making a mac and cheese and you make a roux? With the butter and flour, and then you put the cheese and with milk. It tastes like that. You just need to put macaroni and it's already a mac and cheese. It's good. But it doesn't feel that healthy. <laughs> so if you want to go for the healthier choice, go with the borscht. But if you're up to the mood that like it was some mac and cheese type of soup, then go for this. The curtains. They taste a little bit sweet. Mm, yeah. Mm, it does taste a little bit sweet. Mm, you could even eat this on its own. It tastes a little bit sweet. Mm, it goes perfectly well with the soup. Yeah, I like this too. And then for the Mars, again, there's a lot of things that I haven't tried before until I come to Russia, and one of that is Mars. So it's like a berry. They soak it to get the extract and turn it into a juice. So it feels healthy. It's a little bit on the sour side. Some sweetness, but not overpowering sweetness. Mm, you can definitely taste the berry and the different, the apple as well. Yeah, it's really good. Better than getting soft drinks. So, if you come here, don't get soft drinks, get more. Mm -hmm. So Pilipinas or sa Asian countries, what we do with pancake is we put maple syrup on it or margarine or butter. And also sometimes we um especially in Japan it's very famous to make crepes out of pancake um batter. And aside here, at Little Mr. Russia, we're coming here, they have different types of savory fillings for their pancakes. But aside from that, they also have dessert bini or dessert pancakes. More like crepe. So, later in Sotermo, you can also order dessert pancakes like banana with chocolate, yung Nutella with cream, and everything, and other different ty uh, types of dessert blini. Yeah. Aside from dessert pancakes in limited locations like the one we visited, Teremok also boasts a Konditerskaya, a separate counter with an array of sweets ranging from kartoshki to cheesecake to Napoleon and a lot more. And if you happen to like French sorbet, they have that too.
Food-wise, Russia has a lot of great things to offer. We really hope that Termo can spread out to other parts of the world, bringing its traditionally Russian casino locations outside of Russia. We'll see! Okay, so time to head out. Mm -hmm. After a very successful Teramok experience. Uh, yeah. Again, Teramok is a, is a great place to eat. There are many locations here in St. Petersburg and all of Russia, actually. So it's a very common thing here. So if you ever come to Russia, I highly recommend that you go to Teramok and check it out at least once. Mm -hmm. And it's very affordable and a very good Russian fast food. We highly recommend it. Thank you everyone for watching. Yeah, but we're trying to uh, grow our channel at the moment, so we'd appreciate it if you were to subscribe or to like, comment, share, uh -huh. all those things. So, yes, thank you all very much for watching. Uh -huh. Just be done, everyone.